Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week we're going to take a look at how a lock mechanism works. We're going to take it apart and we're going to look at materials and manufacturing processes um, that have been used to make the lock. Let's jump in and take a look. So um, first impressions, what can we um, take away from the way the lock is manufactured? So um, this feels like a steel plate. Um, I take a guess and say it was probably mild steel. Looks like it's been powder coated um, and it's been formed. Um, yeah, it's a sheet metal part and it's been formed these corners have been folded. You can see there's relief on the corners where it's come from like a flat pattern. Um, these dents have also been pressed in, formed, and they act as um, the sort of locations for the pivot points, which is quite nice. And it gives us a fixing, um, the hole there for the screw and another pivot point there. Um, and this bit's formed here for clearance for the nose there. Um, yeah, quite a nice little part. So this is the main part here. Um, first observations, we've got a couple of cast parts, which I guess would be, um, could be brass or zinc. Um, these bits look like brass, just based on the um, surface finish. We've got a steel um, cover plate that has some sort of writing on it. A bit thicker, a bit stronger. Um, and then yeah we've got the arms and this part's press fit. We'll take that out in a minute. So the mechanism, um, we put the this driver bar is the piece that goes through the handle on a door handle and uh, I'm just having to hold it down here because um, if any of you guys decide to take one of these part home, be careful. This spring you see under here is under a lot of tension, so hence I'm having to hold this down. Um, in reality, the other case half um, clamps it down nicely, so you don't have to do this. But yeah, you can basically see um, you've got an arm here, top and bottom, and the cam lets it rock and it gives you... Um, so the concept converts uh, an angular to a linear motion, it's quite nice. I, I don't know, off the top of my head, I guess that angle is, I don't know, what, would you, what do you think it is, 30, 40 degrees, something like that. And that 30, 40 degrees, when that arm swings down, you can see it a bit better there, when the arm swings down, the pressure on the bottom arm there pulls the armature in and disengages the nose there. So I'm going to take um, this apart and we'll have a closer look at the parts. I'm just going to loosen, well before I loosen that, let's have a look at this bottom lock mechanism. This is quite cool. So we've got this little cast piece, the bottom throws the angle up releases and that catch disengages enabling the bottom plate to slide forward and then the that can drop down under gravity uh, so if we reverse it and that drops down like that it's a really cool um cool mechanism nicely designed um and interesting to see to be fair um I find it quite interesting anyway. So we'll take them apart now and we'll have a close look at the parts. So first one, I'm going to take that one off because I don't want to get stabbed in the finger. But this is a stamped part. Uh, and it's got this little wire insert in there. So that looks like that's been pressed fit in there. It's quite cool. Uh, this one is the one we have to release under tension. So I'll pull the spring back. Again, if you do this at home, go careful. 
So this part, um, it's got a presser again. This part looks like uh, the nose, the tip that engages it in the lock barrel. Um, looks like it's an extruded part uh, and then it's been cut. So this will be extruded in a long length and then cut down to the required size. Then looks like it's press fitted into um, this plate, which is formed similarly as we talked about the other plate. Um, yeah, quite cool. And this cast part, um, you can see um, the reason it's cast is because of the complicated geometry on it. And then we've got another cast part here. You can see the split line on that, on the center line. Um, just giving an indication of of how it would have been made. Put that back in there. Just got a washer there. That this bit comes up. Let's see if we can get that out. There. And like the other one, this looks like an extruded piece as well that's been cut down and then pressed fitted onto this part um, yeah and then we've got the torsion spring there um, and oh and then we've got I think that isn't an insert is that an insert I can't quite tell I think that's just a like a boss um, that's been threaded it does feel like a press fit actually because it's a sheet metal part so both this this boss and the threaded um, boss are inserts um, and then what else can we see here we've also got um, these tabs that come off of 90 degrees from the main plate um, they are just used to press press fit into here so um yeah quite a lot to learn from that really um certainly assembly and materials wise um interesting on the mechanism that's it for this week guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button next week we're going to take a look and see if we can reverse engineer the lock and put it into solidworks and get a working assembly stay tuned to see how we get on Thank you.